Hi, this is Natalie from Line.Arrow from the Netherlands and I'm here to do the show and tell video of the um, Thanksgiving journal that I made uh, using uh, my half of the kit uh, in everything give thanks and also uh, pieces from Rachel's half of the kit uh, from Rachel and Bella Crafts. We did a collaboration together. It was in October, I think, at the end of September, beginning of October. Um, but she has uh, her half in her store and I have my half in my store. Um, they are both with 30% off, but this weekend I have an, a special sale going on. So there's 40% off, so just so you know. And also check out Rachel's store because I know she has sometimes weekends with extra uh, extra discount on, on certain items. So just, just be sure you check out her store. Um, I made a ringbound journal. It's about 21 centimeters high by... 11 and a half wide and the spine is about it's around two centimeter but depending on how many items you put in of course it will get wider um the closure is just a red ribbon i found in my stash and i thought it would it would well it could it goes well with the journal this is the back side there's an extra package on side on this journal so you got two items you will receive two items i also made uh some sort of boho style uh fall uh dangly bit um there was a lady asking me if i was thinking about making these and sell them in my etsy and of course that's an option but i don't have the time to do this but i have a video on how i made these boho beads not exactly these ones because these ones are more in fall tones but i have uh, boho beads that are uh, more bright colors with more blingy things going on and this is just uh, some ribbon with beads and i attached leaves on the bottom and also this is with wire and i added little beads over here and I have it on here too so this is a, a wire and yeah I don't think I did anything special I just tried to make this and it and it worked so um, I'm gonna take it off to do the flip through but yeah I'm not going to sell these I don't have the time but maybe I can do a um, um, tutorial on how I make this uh, and also maybe more in the Christmas style I don't know if I have time because time I don't have time I have a lot but I don't have time um, ribbon closure nothing special put this aside uh, front cover this is the back cover so it's almost similar let me get this straight so this is the front this is the back on the front cover there's a side tuck spot where I added a journaling card with a little dangly bit and I have most of this journal how I made it on video um, oh, I have to switch the wings otherwise the, the pages won't turn I did add larger rings at the beginning I had smaller rings that's the only thing I changed here is the slide window actually sliding on the page with the buttons uh, uh, at the side there's a little tag tag with uh, a little pumpkin on it and some cheesecloth it tucks in over here so then we have this this is a piece in the kit some sort of ovals with a leaf texture texture and you can use them as a frame or mount something on it or as a journaling card but I left them together and I thought well maybe you can slide it over a page and I added the um, um, how do you call it <laughs> the slide window and the slide window um, I have two 
series of them. One is three sheets with different patterns and I also have one that is in fall uh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving themed and these can be found on Rachel's um, Facebook group and in mine. So on the front side I have this and this is on the back with a mushroom and it just slides and in the inside I have some ledger paper so if you want you can fold it over and open and and write on the inside but I like it like this so I'm going to leave it like this and just I'm doing it below and just clipping it down with a paper clip there's a lot of room to write or to add pictures or memories this is a book page um, this is a register register from Latin species names that's exactly what it's saying in, in Dutch and this is just collaged with stamps and little bits and pieces from the kits and also little fabrics sewn around and backed it with ledger and added some pretty papers to make it more interesting some more play pages this is a a tuck spot that I made using these tea bags this is also on the YouTube video uh, in the playlist. Added two tags. They tuck in here. This is the trifold tag that is in the in the kit. Made it pockets. A little envelope that came with the kit. Added a saying. Turn it into a pocket little tag and a little saying inside and this you can clip open and you can actually write on this this is um with a stencil it's made with a stencil clustering in here close some roughly um i don't know how you call it it was longer but i cut it off and on the other side there's one of the pockets um slanted pockets that is in the kit a postcard a little journaling card and a little tag all sewn around and the tags are with a topper and this is a side pocket over here with three tags well two tags and one journaling card I turned into a tag and they go over here I'm going to put this one down so you got this and on plain paper pocket with another journaling card and an envelope tucked in here a page and this is the last Oh, this is a, the back cover, the inside, also one of the slanted pockets, a large tag with a um, slide window again. This one has no acetate window, just some little bits and pieces on it. And I also made this slide window thingy, not sure if you can see, this is the back side. And I did want to add it to a page, but I'm going to tuck it in here. So if there will be a new owner of the journal, uh, she or he can put it there where he wants to put it. I'm going to attach the tassel again. You can remove the tassel. It's clipped down, down with a, um, a paper binder, so it's nothing special. Um, I did make, I did a challenge today. Um, I filmed it so I will show you within a few minutes but I did make this tag today using bits and pieces that were on my desk most of the things are in the Thanksgiving kit only this lady is not the girl because she was in the I think the clock also was in the back to school kit but it was on my desk this is the back side um, so if you want to see how I made it just stay tuned after the flip through but I'm going to include it 
into this little booklet. This booklet I made a few weeks ago. I'm not sure when, but there's a video. I will link it down below. Otherwise, you can click the playlist and you see all I've made. Uh, this is just some random packing paper and I folded it uh, so you have pockets. I show it on the video and I was inspired by Keon Shotwell and I will uh, link her uh, YouTube down below so you can see the original video. Uh, on the outside I just inked and stamped with red and green and also um, I stamped and I um, stenciled, sorry. So I did a mixture of three colors to make it more fitting the, the, the scenery, um, the season, sorry, the fall season. This is just a cluster of fabrics. I just put them together, little bits and pieces I have in a box and then I sew them together to make them like look like full. On the front pocket, some little cluster with fabric lace actually. This is the flippy folder thingy that I have as a freebie in my Facebook group. And there's a video, there are more videos about this flippy thingy. Uh, but I made this with a paper pad and in here I put in little tags, some lace and also three little ephemeral pieces over here. They tuck in here. And it goes in here. In here, I have a little booklet made from um, an acetate sleeve where you put your papers in normally. And I sewed another compartment to put in tiny bits and pieces. And I have little bits and pieces going in here. This is the smaller version of the thing I just showed you that slides over the window. So it's sort of paper clip thing. I'm not sure how to call it, but it's in here. So, and the slide window goes in here too. And over here, I have a tag put in and a journaling card, a little postcard. This is a strip you can put on your paper if you ink. It's just stripped, but you can add little bits and pieces. That slides, oh, slides over here. Then there's an embossed, inked, stamped envelope with fabric cluster. I really like this. And there's an old book page with mushrooms inside. And there's a little fabric cluster with a saying. Does it fit in here? No, I don't want to ruin the tag, but I can put it in here. So yeah, if you want to see how I made this tag, stay, stay tuned because it will be uh, right after I finish the flip through. So this is the complete set that will be available in my Etsy. Um, and if you buy it, you also receive the digital kit, um, a link to the digital kit. So you have the journal and the Thanksgiving kit. Um, so you can recreate something and um, you have to download it, of course, and you can print it yourself. Um, but this is... Um, this is the Thanksgiving journal and well, I'm going to show you how I made the tag and I hope you enjoy it. So yeah, I'm going to clean my desk and then you can see how I made the tag. So I have all these bits and pieces on my desk and I want to make something fun. Um, I have this red this is just a card, but it's some sort of cardstock, but I'm not sure if it's sturdy enough. I'm looking, checking if I have something else. 
Uh, I have other cardstocks over here. I have this. I'm going to fold it in half. Glue it down. And then, and then cut it to size. So I'm making my own tag. I'm just playing with the bits and pieces that I have on my desk. That's the plan. I have to get my paper cutter. Okay, what I'm going to do, I have this, I have some strips, and I have this. I'm going to pack one side with the coffee dyed paper. This side I'm going to glue the book page, the dictionary page it is. I'll do some inking first. So now we have the base for our tag and we can play and make something pretty of things that are on my desk. So if you have messy desk, a messy desk and some things, bits and pieces, you can try this. And I'm not the first person ever doing this, I know. It's not my idea, but it's something I just thought about when I was cleaning my desk thinking oh maybe I can make something from the things that are on my desk on camera I never done that before also wanna ink on the paper okay collect some things. I have some cheesecloth, something that looks like linen but isn't linen. Um, I have a leaf, I have two leaves, so we can do something with the leaves. I have three leaves, so that's a good thing. I have lace, I have leather, I have this girl which I really like. It's not from the Thanksgiving kit, but I do like her. I have a little pumpkin. And do I have ledger? Yes, I have ledger. It's folded. I don't know why. I probably was on the phone and just started folding this. Okay. Glue this down here. Pumpkin paper. Oh, I have more leaves. I see now. I have a yellow one and another shaped red one. 
see what I end up with. Um, I was thinking something like this, and then maybe the leaves tucked in here. And this one goes on top. Yeah. I have red lace too. It's not allowed. But I can glue it on. Just okay, I'm just putting it down now. I'm not going to overthink everything. Um Can be somewhere over here. This is probably not the right way to collage, but this is how I roll. I just put on glue and attach things as I go. Can I move this a little? Yeah. There's glue everywhere on my hands, but that's no biggie. Um, I like this one, but not over here. Um, I had the leaves, yeah. This one, I have to ink. So bring it under here. I'm deciding which which side is the best because I think this side is better than this side. But we will see. So okay. Some glue. I like the clock. I like her too. Going to put her over here. 
I had her in a smaller version too. There she is. Oh, that's too small. Okay, let me just see what I'm going to do. I like her over here. Is there still room for the clock? Yeah. This can be... In between. going to glue her down already or not um, need a red leaf too Oh yeah, right. This leaf is reacting on the moist and it's curling. I don't know what happens, but it's not going to be glued down very easily. <laughs> it just won't glue, be glued down. This is what I got now. Does it need more? I don't think so.
maybe one a button. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe a small label? No. I think I will leave it like this. What I am going to do is ink a little bit. I'm going to use some wild honey, distress ink. This looks cool. And go back with the vintage photo again to mute it a little bit, otherwise it's too yellow. But I do like this. And also need to um, put in some red. Let me get the red. Christmas red I have. Here it is. So I'm blending all the fall colors together. Also putting some red over here. And putting some yellow yeah this is nice okay just need to a little drop of glue under the girl because this leaf is really coming off it doesn't want to stick down so and now I need to make an eyelet and a tassel thingy on top and then the tag is done so i have my eyelet sitter These eyelets are a little bit larger than the hole is that I'm punching, so... We have this. piece of waxed thread could do this And I have 
had three buttons. Yeah. What else do I have? Little clock. And I had a hook over here. Do I want to use this clock? Oh, this could be awesome too. Yeah, I have a smaller one. Okay, let me see how I'm going to attach this. Oh, I can't attach this. There is no hole. That's a waste. Okay, I need to use this one. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to put the button um, to frame it underneath the knot of the leather. And then the clock hangs down like this. It's dangling beneath the button, if that makes any sense. I'm changing this because now I see I have pieces of the waxed thread so I'm going to include it on top and if I had the knot in the tag is finished and it's really fun to make something that's on your desk. I've never done this before. I need to cut this. Okay, this is what I came up with. Maybe need to take this out of the way. So this is the front. And this is the back. We can use a little yellow. Okay, um, well, this is it. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I hope to see you next time. Stay safe, stay creative. Greetings from the Netherlands. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.